What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Now that I got Mother's Day crafting out of the way, I had a great opportunity to bond with my son and anything I can do to bond with my son, I'm all for it guys. Let's get right down to uh, today's trading video. Uh, a bit different from my usual. I wanted to talk to you about something that is probably going to give me a lot of backlash from the trading community but hey that's all right that's what i'm here for i'm here to give you something different here guys and before before you hit that dislike button that thumbs down button hear me out guys and let's just get down to it what is the 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 fact that that's thrown out there um pretty much every day with trading um, it's the fact that most traders, 90% of traders, lose money, right? Let's try to avoid what most traders do. Here it comes, guys. I don't believe in support and resistance. I know. Shocking. Crazy. Boo. Giovanni, you're, you're an idiot. I get it. I get it. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you tell me I'm the stupidest person ever on this planet i'm the dumbest trader that is fine go ahead and put it in the comment section um we'll, we'll all get a good laugh but anyways hear me out guys i'm a momentum trader that's what i'm working towards i'm a trend trader and the idea is that if there's enough momentum in any one move in any one trade it's going to blow through support or resistance depending on what side of the market you're trying to play. Um, but that's in a nutshell, the, the idea behind why I don't believe in support and resistance. The other reason why I don't believe in support and resistance is it is ridiculously so subjective. Um, you can find so many videos out there on YouTube, everywhere on the internet, about how to draw support and resistance lines. But it, there, there's, there's, you're going to get a million different results, a million different answers. And when it's that subjective, I, I toss it out. I, I just completely toss it out. You see something different than where the next trader sees you know, support. And how do you determine that? And it's going to be so different from the one minute, five minute, 10 minute daily chart. And I mean, seriously, guys, think about all those support and resistance videos and everything that you know about support and resistance. There are lines everywhere to the point where you can negate that. You can truly negate that. If you truly were to draw in everywhere there's support and resistance, it's probably at like every five cent increments. And all you'll have is just horizontal lines throughout your entire charts. So with that being said, I'm not necessarily knocking anybody that uses support and resistance. If I knew possibly, let's let's just take a you know step back and, and I'll say this. If I without a doubt knew and understood um, how, how I could use support and resistance in my trading, um, how to become a better trader in identifying support and resistance, I totally would. But it's so ridiculously subjective that I just, I, I can't, I, I'm not, you, you'll see in all my charts and all my trading that I don't, I don't have any support and resistance lines, mainly because I'm looking for momentum. That is like the whole point of my, my trading strategy, my idea is look for where the momentum is and then support and resistance can be completely tossed out. That's why I don't necessarily wait for price to get down to a support level because at any one point, it can come down to support and keep going past that support line. So I just, I, I toss it out altogether. I can't use it for my entries. I can't use it for my exits. So I just toss them out together. One of the most important parts, though, about trading that a lot of people don't talk about, mainly because it's not sexy enough, um, people don't want to hear about this, money management. More than anything, in my opinion, 
um, money management is going to make you and save you a lot of money when you trade um, when you get into bad trades when you get into good trades it doesn't matter that's one of the most important parts i rather work on my money management skills um, and then psychology right uh, getting the the emotional conquering the emotional side of the markets of trading uh, day trading investing whatever it is money management psychology and then get your entries down that is in my opinion more important than anything else out there. And if you really think about it, everybody really only works and talks about entries. They think that is the most important part. I believe it's an important part of trading. Obviously, you, you got to get yourself into a good trade by getting a good entry. But more above all else, money management and the psychology of trading, guys. So that's all I got for you uh, guys today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Like and share my videos. Comment down below what you think about today's trading video. I wish everybody an awesome and happy Mother's Day, everybody. So we'll see you here again next time in the next trading video. See you guys later. Take care.